Hello Scrappy Peeps, Susanna here today for Scrapbooking Boys to Men and my lit layout. This layout is based on the letter X. So this is a series I've done with a series of friends um, and we have used the successive letter in the alphabet as the inspiration for uh, the layout of the week. So X is the letter. Um, as you probably well know, there are not very many X words, um, and I cheated a little bit here, and I went with extra special um, to describe this relationship between my son and my husband. Um, I think my son, I believe my son is very fortunate to have the relationship that he has with his dad, um, and they both put a lot of effort into uh, that closeness and that bond. And so this was one of Nicholas's first swim meets, uh, actual swim meet, so not a dual meet, um, as a college student, a college swimmer, college athlete, and he was up in... Uh, at George Washington up in DC and Michael went up um, because I had to stay here for a swim meet with Mia. So this is a uh, sketch inspired layout. It is sketch number 17 of a class that I uh, paid to take online with Allison Davis of Scrapbook Generation and the uh, sketch has it's a tall arrangement um, of horizontal strips on the left hand side of the layout and so I chose to use uh, maroon orange and black or white and black um, so as my neutrals to break up the orange and the maroon uh, as my strips so I um, my kids both swam on the same team club team um, and our team colors were red and blue so I had scraps that were stashed away that were just red and blue a file of red and blue and so whenever I went to do Nova layouts that's our team name um, it was easy to just dig through the stash and um, pull out relevant colors so I now have a new folder um, that is going to be actually I have two new folders because they are both on new teams we have moved Mia has moved to the Y um, and her team colors are blue and yellow and Nicholas is now swimming for Virginia Tech and those team colors are uh, maroon and orange. So I have two new folders. Um, I still have my red and blue folder uh, because um, I I like red and blue uh, <laughs> uh, and I still actually have a lot of swimming pictures to do. So this is perfectly suited to six by six paper pads because the design on a six by six paper pad is much smaller. Um, you can see that I have used some 12 by 12 strips. I have actually cut into brand new pieces of um, 12 by 12 paper because some of this paper was bought particularly for the B side in order to get the maroon and the orange there. Um, and will then go into my scraps folder. But again, knowing that I have full sheets that I could back photos with and what have you. So the sketch calls for some straight across strips, um, some pointed and notched to resemble an arrow. Some of them overlap, uh, some of them are staggered, uh, just to create some movement uh, and a very busy detailed background. So really you do not need much more in the way of embellishment with this because you have a lot of eye-catching material behind the photos there. Uh, so I am, I did not cut them in any semblance of order. You could saw, you could see I literally just cut different lengths. Um, I didn't measure them. I didn't measure the notches. I didn't measure the, the pointy arrow bits. Um, I just, I am going to, some of them I did cut as I was going and some of them I'm going to cut as I go, as I proceed. Um, but I am just looking to stagger the lengths. Um, uh, some of them I'm going to overlap uh, and I do know that on the right hand side, probably more towards the bottom, some of that is going to get covered and I'm not going to worry about it um, because literally it's not about what is the background, um, but about the photos and this is just support um, and visual interest to those photos. I also know with the busyness of these papers as well as the darkness of um, my colors per se that I am not going to be able to journal on these strips um, and so I am going to 
go ahead and amend the sketch myself and I'm going to put uh, a pocket, a vellum pocket behind one of the two photos um, that will allow me to put my journaling. Uh, there is nothing secret about the journaling. It is not hidden because I don't want you to see it. It is more hidden because the design concept does not allow for you to be able to see the journaling there. So I have all of the strips in place. I love the way that that looks. Um, lots of movement with the arrows there. And uh, these are the two photos. So uh, one of my son and Michael, and then the other of just Michael holding up his badge, which has a picture of Nicholas on it. Um, he was very proud to be there and to get his badge that I linked him to Nicholas. So. I've pulled a couple of embellishments. Um, I have the Ellie Studio hand sewn stamp as well as the acetate stickers. Um, I could have stamped on here, but I decided to just use the acetate stickers because I have them. And then when I run out of them, I can absolutely stamp on there. Um, but it just saved me the time of having to stamp and clean the stamp because I had already done all of the notching of all of these strips. Um, I also worried about the depth of the different papers and maybe getting a line in, and so I liked the way that the acetate gave me the solidness of these strips here. Uh, so I'm, the sketch called for some stitching, and rather than putting in machine stitching or hand stitching, I have my faux stitching, my faux sticker stitching. Thank you, Ellie Studio. I have used um, this stamp set so much. It truly is my new favorite. So um, all along, I have intended to have that black border. I just think it gives a little bit more interest to the page and it grounds those strips as well. Um, and so that is a quarter inch border all the way around. And then all along, I have also intended that I'm going to stitch around that with my actual sewing machine, <laughs> um, just to give it a little bit more uh, of a clean finished look on the outside. So I have decided that I like the way that um, the pictures matted in white. I did not pick print them with a white border, which I would normally do. Um, but I like the way that against the stripes, the white border followed by a colored border gives it a little bit more definition. Um, they don't meld into the strips quite as much. I've pulled a couple of uh, elements here to just further embellish it. I do want a little bit of embellishment, um, but I don't want a lot because um, like I said, it, it's pretty busy already. Um, so I have pulled two stickers, two thicker sets. One is black and then the other is orange glitter and those are going to be my title. Um, you can see that arrow that is from Vicki Booten. Um, I have a, a contrast in photos there in that the one of the two of them has that cream background and then the tile sort of blue black tile is behind Michael and so I liked the way that the arrow pointed to the two of them and referenced the emphasis on their special relationship, their extra special relationship. Um, so the title in the sketch is at the bottom of the sketch, right near the uh, 4x4 photo. I didn't think that you were going to be able to see that extra, the black letters, on top of the black pattern paper. So I opted to put it up the top where I thought it was um, closer to the arrow that would then reference what the title was about. Uh, but then I couldn't fit special. You can see there's going to be a lot of uh, shuffling of these letters. Um, so you can see special doesn't fit. So then I thought, well, I'll split it and put it at the top at the bottom. But I didn't like that particularly either because um, there was so much space and a gap between the top and the bottom. There's no reason you couldn't have left it like that, but I, it just, it didn't work for me. I wanted the extra and special to go together. So I am going to move them ultimately down to where the sketch has called for them. Um, and I am going to just put it all along this one line here. Now I would always use liquid adhesive, but I'm going to in, um, make a special effort to use liquid adhesive here um, because I have moved these around so much that I felt like they weren't quite as tacky as they needed to be. Um, so I'm happy with that, showing you the thumbs up that, yep, this is where these stickers are going to go and they are going to stay. 
I'm going to speed through this, um, but I, this is me using the liquid adhesive to just make sure that those letters don't shift. I could have machine stitched them as well when I was doing the stitching around the border, um, but I, again, I already feel like there's enough horizontal movement that I didn't want to um, necessarily add to that anymore. I also really feel like I ruined the, the um, it's not the alignment, I, I ruined the when you sew over chipboard like that, I feel like it throws the machine off. So I wanted a little bit more black in the layout of the top there. And so I have that XOXO chipboard piece from Ellie Studio, which is actually perfect because X again, right, is another one of the uh, is the letter of the the letter of the layout. Um, and then at the top there, it is a uh, puffy sticker that says you and me, just little bits and pieces scattered throughout the page. When you're working on a masculine layout, there are so many embellishments for girls with the florals and the butterflies and the hearts. And I don't mind using hearts or florals or butterflies on a page, but on a page like this, um, which is definitely very masculine, I didn't want all of those things. Um, and so I went with hearts and little phrases that were relevant to the page. Uh, and that, especially the hearts go with that extra special relationship. And I don't have relationship or bond on the page, but I'm thinking I might need to do that. So um, another Vicki Booten, you can see how you can't see that um, heart with the arrow on the layout per se, um, but you will see it in the close-ups. It's kind of one of those tone-on-tone -tone subtle effects. Um, and just lots of stuff for my stash to uh, bust out the stash and get this layout done. So I think I'm on my own this week um, and I'm a day late. I apologize for that. Uh, getting close to the end of the alphabet and time to think about a new series too. So if you have anything in particular you would like to see me do, please leave that in the box down below and I will definitely consider it. Enjoy the close-ups. Thanks for stopping in today. I hope you are doing well. Come back again soon. Take care.